Today we'll be talking about the new D1 desktop laser from Xtools and also covering a lot of its features so that you can decide whether this is something you need in your workshop or home. This machine comes standard with a 430 by 406 millimeter working area, but this is extendable to 936 by 432 millimeters for even larger cuts and engraving. The D1 laser comes in two color variants, namely the gold and red or metallic gray for those who prefer it. The assembly process that might be complicated for some is made simple with its easy to follow and in-depth manual so that you can easily and quickly assemble this machine so that you can start with your engraving or cutting adventure. Along with these machines, Xtools also has a software called Creator Space that is directly compatible with the D1. All you have to do is plug in your machine, let the software detect it and there you go. Creative Space is compatible with both Windows and Mac operating systems. It is completely free to install and easy to use. With predefined profiles for different materials, you don't have to worry about finding the perfect settings for what you want to do. All you have to do is select one of the predefined material profiles, create your design and start the job. If you don't like the predefined settings for the material you want to use or don't find a predefined setting, you can also create your own user-defined settings. To engrave or cut, you select whichever option on the right hand side of the screen. You can then import an image, text or shape, whichever you'd like, set its size and center it on the screen or position it wherever you would like. Once you've confirmed all the settings, you can then press the proceed button in the bottom right hand corner. The top left arrows are to position the laser over where you want to cut. Once you feel like you have the correct spot, hit framing. This will prompt you to hit the button on the D1 machine. After pressing it, the laser module will frame out where the engraving will be. If you're happy with the framing, you can just press start. It will prompt you again to hit that button. The machine will start engraving. All you have to do then is just wait for it to complete. Progress bar at the top will indicate how far into the engraving or cutting you are. Once finished, you can either choose to process again and do the same engraving with the same settings over again, or you can hit done and start with a new project. For those who might feel like this free software might be too limiting, the D1 is also compatible with Lightburn. Note that if you want to use Lightburn, you need to go and download the D1's profile from the Xtools website. We all know that when it comes to engraving, slow is better. But with this machine, you can go up to 400 millimeters per second without loss in quality. Along with its color variants, either come in two module variants as well, the 10 watt or the 20 watt, each of them with their own perks. The D1 also comes with built-in safety features with a built-in fire detector, as well as a gyroscope for tilt detection. Now, once you've got your machine all assembled and ready to go, it is as easy as one, two, three to get the perfect height. And I'm not even joking. First step is to drop the lever on the side of the module head to get the perfect height. Second step is to loosen the knob on the side of the lever. And third step is to loosen the knob on the other side. The D1 comes with a lot of possible upgrades as well, including risers to increase the maximum engraving height to 144 millimeters, an air assist for better cutting, a honeycomb bed for clean back and front side on your cuts, the before mentioned extension kit for larger working areas, fire retardant and smoke proof enclosure, a smoke purifier to get rid of the toxins produced by the laser, as well as a fire safety kit to release CO2 once a flame is detected. You can also opt for an infrared module for all metal engraving, and last but not least, a rotary attachment for 360 degree engraving. After playing around with the laser, I can determine that it is easy to use, easy to set up, and just a blast. There is one thing that I did notice, however, when engraving at 400 millimeters per second, when it gets to detailed areas, the motors do stop quite quickly. And that jerk action is enough to slide this machine around on this table, causing the engraving at the end of the day to fail. So what I would suggest is using some sort of wedge system just to keep the machine still when it is moving at those high speeds. Other than that, it was engraved really, really well. Its alarm systems whenever it detects flame or when it detects tilting is very loud, extremely loud, and that's a good thing. So whenever you have left the machine, 
unattended, when it does automatically shut down, wherever you are in your house, you will definitely know. So yeah, if you're interested in this machine, you can go to our website, 3dprintingstore.co.za. Also, if you found this video informative or entertaining at all, be sure to drop a like. All of our other socials will also be listed in the description below. Thank you all and goodbye.